What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This is episode number 9 of My Damn Hauls and I do know that this is the second video up in less than 24 hours which is something that we usually don't do here. But I had these three packages come in and I know you guys will be excited for it so I went ahead and filmed this anyway. We have three packages on this episode today. One is from my boy BEW Animations. We have some great work in there from him. Excited to get that. Another one is a loose figure from eBay. And then the final one is a figure clothing haul from my man Gareth Grandin on Facebook. The best figure clothing guy out there, absolutely. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can contact him through Facebook to get an order in. I know a lot of you have hit me up from guys that have ordered from him and they have had nothing but positive things to say about him. So definitely check that out after this episode. But let's go ahead and get straight into these packages. So this first package up is from eBay. It is a loose figure, believe. And I honestly believe that we've seen this on, like three episodes of my damn hauls i feel like i know definitely the first one this figure has been on here quite a lot so yep it's just right open and you can see from here that is the elite 20 cody Rhodes. Let's see if we can get this up so yes the elite 20 cody Rhodes. i picked this up because i plan on making a custom neville and i don't like the neville body mold i feel like it's a little too small i feel like this is better more broad and I just feel like it works better. So I'm going to use this. I think I'm going to do a custom white Neville attire. I think that'll be really cool. Do some part swaps and stuff. Especially with the stuff that we got from BEW Animations. And make a white Neville attire. Since, you know, yesterday they revealed that Neville in the black with the Cruiserweight Championship that was shown at SDCC. That is very cool. And I am thrilled that we are getting that. But that put the halt on the custom that I was going to do on Neville. So now we're going to switch it to a white attire instead of the black. But I think this will be a really awesome figure to use for the base instead of the regular Neville Elite. So let's go ahead and get into BW Animation's package. So second up we have BW's package and I am very, very excited to get this stuff out. He posted what I was getting on Instagram. Well, one of the things he posted on Instagram is what I'm getting. And then the other one he did not post and I was kind of cool. So now we will save the reveal for now. And I don't know what that is. I'll have to get that open here in a second. There's that, and then we have a few more things. I'll start off first with what wasn't posted on uh, Instagram. I don't think there's anything else, and there's not, but it is this custom edge coat. He hand sewn this and put these little things on here like Edge has in his entrance coat, but I am absolutely excited to have this. It is not leather, but I think this works beautifully. Thank you so much, BEW. This thing is beautiful. It looks great, and I'm going to be getting an Edge Elite so we can see what this looks like on the figure. But before we do that, I'm going to move on to what we got. But this was for the Pick Fed. I think this will look nicely on the Edge during his entrance and all that for the Pick Fed. So that is really awesome. Thank you so much, BEW. And then another thing we have here. So we have these knee pads, these custom Neville knee pads that he painted up for me. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the gray design that Neville has on his knee pads. All right, guys, I could not get it to focus on the knee pads, but here you go. You can see the gray design right there. That is the Neville design that goes on the knee pads. Originally, like I said, we were planning to do a custom Neville in the black attire, an updated Neville, but now that that figure was released or shown at SDCC. We will be switching it to white, but I am going to still use the parts that he sent me. So these are the knee pads, and now I'll show you the rest of what he sent. So I'm sure you can tell what this is before I even get it open, but we'll take this rubber band off and the bubble wrap, and you will see that it is these custom Neville arms, and Jesus Lord, these look very, very nice, very, very accurate. It's got that matte gray and silver color with the black, and I think both of these look really, really awesome. Even if we go with the white attire, I think these arms will still look very, very nice. Even if you don't paint anything on here in the white, I think it'll still look really good. I'm very excited to put this figure together, but here are the arms. And now we will get into the best part, which is the head that BEW did. And Jesus Christ, Mattel needs to take some notes because this man is just slaughtering the custom game right now. Some of his best work, I think, is this Neville head that he made for me, and I am just super excited to get the full figure complete. But here it is, that angry Neville head, and Jesus, it looks just so beautiful. He totally killed the sculpt and the paint apps. Like, this face was the NXT Neville head scan. 
just chilling face, and he turned it into a pissed off Neville face that you know we see week to week, and I just absolutely love this. This may become my favorite figure in my collection when it all is all said and done, and we have the parts all there, together there. But you see where he has like the baldness right there, like Neville's hairstyle does, and just that face that just looks so much like Neville. And I'm just very, very happy to have this. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get the Edge Elite and put the coat on there. And then we will see what the full Neville Custom looks like all together. And here we have Edge and his entrance coat from BEW. And I got to say that this thing looks absolutely sick. He killed this, absolutely. He even has the split in the back, so it gives it a free range of motion. And I just think this looks really, really accurate, really, really nice. It'll look really sick in the pick fed. I think that's a really nice touch. And I appreciate it, BEW. Thank you so much for all the things that you do. And when you guys see this custom Neville that I put together in just a few moments, you're probably going to poop yourselves. I know Venomine Figs is going to be losing his crap because Neville is his favorite superstar. And i got to say, Neville is has become one of my favorites as well. But here's the Edge entrance code, and now we will go see the Neville. And my god, look at this beautiful Neville custom collaboration between me and BEW. This head on this Cody Rhodes body with the white attire. This is a custom fantasy attire. I totally just thought of this after yesterday's reveal of the new Neville that is releasing. But we put the John Cena arms on there. And again, it was supposed to be the black attire that is releasing, Mattel is putting out. But we decided, or actually I decided since they are releasing that, I went ahead and just created this white fantasy attire. And I think it looks really, really clean. White is my favorite color believe it or not, and I just love the cleanliness of it, like the white and black contrast with the grays that BEW put together looks really, really sick. We put the John Cena arms on a Cody Rhodes torso and crotch and upper legs, and then we put Shawn Michaels WrestleMania 33 lower legs with Tyson Kidd boots. All the decals removed from everything, but I haven't added the details yet. I will add it, and I will put this on Instagram. I'll add some black and maybe a logo right here, maybe some stuff to the kick pads. But I just love the way this turned out, and absolutely, this figure is probably one of my favorites in my collection now. Thank you so much to BEW for all the work he put into this, the arms, knee pads, and head, which is probably the best part, honestly. I just thought of the formula. That's usually how me and BEW's collabs go. I just think of formulas, and he does all the magic. So thank you to him. We have one more package to open, and that is the figure clothing haul. And I have a shirt for this Neville, which I think you guys will really, really like. So we'll take that out and take a look, and we will move on with this video. All right, guys, let's go ahead and crack open the final package on this episode of My Damn Hauls. This should just rip open, and just like the last figure haul, or the figure clothing haul, it should just be like some baggies, some little clear baggies. My friends make fun of me because I say baggies, but that's what they are. They're baggies of clothes, so... Here's the first one, and you can already tell that the first is an Adam Cole Bullet Club shirt. And we have some other Bullet Club shirts in here. So first we have the Adam Cole Bullet Club shirt, the Kenny Omega Bullet Club shirt, and then the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes Bullet Club shirt. Obviously all these will go into the pick fed. And then we have some other Bullet Club member shirts right here as we dump them out. And the first one is a Young Bucks one. It even has the fringe sleeves and bottom, so that's really, really cool. And then, of course, there is two Young Bucks, so you got to have two of them. And then their regular Bullet Club shirts in the fringe cut as well. And then the other one is a bunch of Bullet Club shirts. I think it's like five regular Bullet Club shirts. So if they aren't rocking their individual personalized shirts, they will be rocking these that are just Bullet Club shirts like that. So we have five of those. And then the final baggie, we have a number of superstars in here. And I think you guys will probably be surprised by one of them. And that is the first one right here. It is a Baron Corbin shirt. I know. I don't know why I got this. Actually, it's just because I don't want his ugly tattoo and fat body in the pick fed. So I decided to cover him up with his end of day shirt. Next up, we have this CM Punk shirt to rock. You know, he's one of the big boys on MDT Live. So I had to give him his own personalized shirt. And then he has this one, this yellow straight edge superstar Mario inspired shirt. I think that was really awesome. I saw that on ProWrestlingTees.com and I wanted to make it into a figure shirt. And then we have this Edge rated R shirt. Give him another uh, different shirt to wear besides the other one we picked up last time. And then we have this third CM Punk shirt that says it's clobbering time. Has a nice little decal right there. 
And then the final one that will go onto the Neville Custom is this, and this is a logo that I made myself. I put this together. It is a skull with the crown, of course, for King Neville, and then it has his beard sculpted onto the skull. I think this is a really sick shirt, and obviously he will be rocking this in the pick fed. Probably in his white attire, too. I think that'll look really, really awesome. So we'll see what all of these figures look like in their custom shirts, and we will end this episode of My Damn Hauls. Starting out first, we have Trash Corbin in his t-shirt. You know, just because you get a t-shirt does not mean you escape the trash. So I just got him to cover up his belly there. It looks more realistic because Mattel gave him some ripped up torso for some odd reason. So that's Baron Corbin. Up next, we have this Edge in blue jeans. I decided to make this for promos and such when Edge is not in his ring gear. So I went ahead and took a Dean Ambrose Elite 41 threw a edge basic arms and head on there and then threw the t-shirt on there i want to get a beanie for his head that way it's the complete look but i thought that was pretty uh solid for a promo edge so moving on to the next figure so up next we have these two cm punks and i absolutely love both of them i think the one on the left is probably my favorite i think that looks absolutely amazing with that head scan and uh attire with that shirt on there it looks absolutely incredible it really does complete the mario theme of the t-shirt with the color scheme i think that's really awesome probably my favorite punk now in my collection and then you have this one with the black and red to match the t-shirt as well and this could even go on the elite 16 which i do have but i decided not to use it for the video but i think that'd look really good on that one as well but here are the cm punks and now i'll go into bullet club and here we have the Bullet Club and their personalized t-shirts uh, resembling Bullet Club. You have the Young Bucks on the outsides with their personalized t-shirts. Adam Cole on the middle left and then Cody Rhodes on the middle right. And of course you have Kenny the Cleaner Omega in the middle. I think all of these shirts look amazing. Uh, I think, you know, in uniform they look really, really good together. And I think they will run Vindication over there on the blue brand. I think they'll take care of business rocking their personalized t-shirts. And then when they rock their bullet club shirts all together they will look like a unit for sure and now we will get into the last t-shirt and last but not least we have this beautiful neville custom in his beautiful custom t-shirt designed by yours truly i love the way this looks i think this really completes it now i may even shave a little bit off the bottom and the sleeves here to give it a smaller look but it looks amazing all together without even touching it, and I just love the way this looks. I can't say it enough. I know I've probably said that a hundred times on this video, but I am very pleased with the way this came out. I think that's going to do it for this episode of My Damn Hauls, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe for more epic WWE figure-related videos. Comment down below what you think of this haul and this Neville Custom, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.